Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the Finca of Sara and Pepe in Gran Canaria and to be precise on their pomegranate plantation, you could say. It's quite a small one, maybe 50, 60 plants. But for some reason, for some reason, everywhere on the Canary Islands and everywhere I go, I see tons of unharvested pomegranates. The market for them seems to be very bad. Pomegranate is a really amazing plant. For one thing, it's not really closely related to other fruit trees. It's either put in its own family Punicaceae or in the family Lutraceae. And those families are not really known for having a lot of fruit trees, like for example the Rosaceae, Myrtaceae, or Solanaceae or so. So, hardly related to any other fruit. And then, it can be grown in such a wide variety of climates, like you can grow it in Germany and in parts of southern Russia. You can also grow it in the fully tropical lowlands of Java or Malaysia, where I've seen it. But where it shines is in those semi-desert, yeah, semi-desert subtropical conditions like around here as you can see we are here in the subtropical semi-desert in Gran Canaria. Pomegranate comes from Iran and Afghanistan and northwestern India like the semi-desert areas of the yeah, Middle East I guess you can still call it. But nowadays it's cultivated pretty much everywhere in the world in subtropical and warm temperate climates and yeah there are attempts. I, I showed you videos from Germany. I did not manage to make videos in Java or in other fully tropical areas. But yeah, here is, here is the climate where it really shines. And what do you do with pomegranates? Uh, where does the name come from? Well, from the, well, basically the name of the granite comes from the pomegranate. Because the, uh, the name of the granite, well, the name of the granite, the the gemstone is also related to it because the seeds look like those gemstones. But the granite is a weapon which basically explodes and releases a lot of little pieces, just like the pomegranate. When it's ripe, it bursts open and releases its seeds. How do you use pomegranates? Well, you can eat them out of hand. That's how I do it. But in a lot of places, like for example in the US, I think... Pomegranate juice is quite popular. The famous syrup called grenadine is used for cocktails and liquors and other stuff. Great stuff, those pomegranates. Yeah, here you can see them in different stages of ripeness. I don't see any flowers, unfortunately. We had a lot of drought here, and in those droughty years, Sarah and Pepe basically say, once the fruit tree is harvested, they just water it enough to survive. So they haven't watered them so much so that they can get a couple flowers outside, out of season. But there's still a couple of late, still green fruit. Here, for example, an underripe one. One that looks half ripe but is already bursting open for some reason. Another underripe one. Here an overripe one already turning brown. I guess this will be one of the those which are not good anymore. Let's see. He said to be very careful because a lot of the ones which are still close are not good. Look at that. That doesn't look good. I don't think that it's supposed to look like that. Brown. Brownish, whitish. Taste is okay, -ish, but I think a customer will still be pretty disappointed. Well, here they are a couple. Very strange. They are yellow instead of red, despite having a lot of red ones on that tree. The inside, just pinkish. Hmm. But it's good, yeah. Pepper said to stick to the open ones because I will be disappointed if I open the closed ones. Oh, yeah. This is how they are supposed to be. Look at that. This is perfectly ripe, which still burst open. Mm. 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 
got also some tasty pomegranates. By the way, the skin is also useful. You can make a dye from it, a paint. They use it to dye, for example, the famous Persian carpets and stuff like that. Wow. This is a good one. Well, folks, I hope I was able to show you how this stuff is cultivated in the area where it's supposed to be cultivated. Gran Canaria has a dry subtropical climate similar to where this stuff comes from. And here it's basically and it's prime. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful farm of Sara and Pepe in Gran Canaria. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.